Good afternoon, welcome to Micronaut VJS CRUD with security. This is the second part of Micronaut VJS CRUD uh, collection done by me, thank you. Uh, it's a mouthful actually, it's getting longer and longer. It, I'm not going to add it to the name otherwise it would be over here somewhere. Um, so I've been asked to look into Micronaut VJS with CRUD and let's give it a spin for celebration because we have got it to work right so i've pushed some changes into uh github for it and incorrectly spelt is really the core of the changes this is to do with the roots that had issues um so if you wanted to find out what i've actually fully fully done you can go through this through to the project and then to commits and it's this one here um, so let's talk through what I've done and then we'll um, run it. Firstly, apologies if the screen's too big. I'm using the TV at the moment and it might come up too big on your screen. Um, so let's go through what we've done. Um, I'm going to start with the back end and I'm going to go through to the front end um, and they both had considerable changes. Um, in the back end, uh, what I've selected is if we go to the GitHub projects, uh, we had uh, a few different applications, but our core point uh, where cores happens or where the transactions happens between the front end and the back end is really through the gateway application. Once front end hits, gets a request, it sends everything through the gateway. So I've decided to use gateway as the point of authentication as well. Uh, because simply it goes off into all, sort of all the other backends. So in the gateway application, what we've got is we've got a, a domain class of user and role. Now I've kind of taken this from Spring Security. I had to make a change because um, to to it to make it eager uh, fetching. Because initially I implemented this uh, get string roles, which I need for the authentication part. But I hit a problem with um, lazy initialization. I tried to get it work. It didn't work moved it to user implementation or user implement this is a service. Uh, it didn't work with none of this stuff. And then I just literally enabled that eager fetching in user class, which has got things to work. Uh, and as I say, because it's a test, I'm not really too concerned about uh, doing things the proper, proper way because I just want to see it work. I've Im implemented in it a uh, folder which is uh, got a data loader which adds the users and by default the process of adding users adds a role admin to every user which gets called in this uh, call here and it adds the role first and then adds the user um, and you can you might have to uh, go through each iteration of this and divide the number of the index by two and if it's zero make it role user role admin or come up with your own way of doing it but at the moment everyone's getting this role um so well, as the site loads up what we've got is these users that get signed up to the user domain class with these passwords and they get the role admin um now our gateway controller has been changed to include uh, this annotation for security authenticated and then for each call or method inside the controller we've got a secured annotation with the roles uh, defined um, now I um, what I've also included fab authentication provider which is the authentication provider for this site um, and I started to um, look into this access token which actually isn't needed none of this is needed here because um, I thought from what I was looking at that you'd need all this stuff, but you don't actually need it um, because what controls it actually after, you know, you, when, you, when you find out the hard way is when I've enabled to get the whole thing to work, we've had to enable uh, configuration in the resources to say security is enabled and OAuth is enabled, the login point is this and yeah uh, or login point is true and the jwt token is enabled and this is what tells 
um, user details that to send a JWT token. So we don't need to do any of that. So basically over here, we was trying to generate a token and, and then our own, I created the, and I went wrong here, I created the user VO class, which implemented authentication response, which is what's needed for the authentication provider. And I extended the wrong thing because what I needed to do is when I did that, it said the class of the thing needs to be user details. This thing here needs to be user details, but user details and user VL wasn't far off and it implements that. So what I should have done is made user details extend user VO, extend user details rather than do this. And it would have been fine. And I could have got rid of this part as well in this class, but it doesn't matter because I don't need to do any of that, that access token stuff. I don't need to do. It looks like Grell or Mike and all takes care of that for you. So, um, I've implemented this thing called find username by username and password, which is actually, a, the password is not encrypted first, firstly, but secondly, well, when the password is wrong, it's not going to find it, but it falls over the, the dot get falls over because Because what I'm doing wrong is let's tidy this up now whilst we're doing it. It fell, it fell over when it can't find the password. Right, so that's that fixed now. And um, so it tries to find the user and if it finds the user, then it um, gets the string roles, which is that thing I was showing you. And then it does a user details of the user and the roles and it literally sends that back. And inside that is the token, uh, the JWT token. Um, so I'm gonna show you this working. First of all, for console. Um, so let's start everything up so you can see what's going on as well. That's Docker running. Docker, sorry, I keep calling it Docker. Console running. Console running through Docker. Uh, and then we are starting off um, front end which is uh, Vue.js, backend run, gateway run, user base run, using parallel to run it. Now I found initially I couldn't run all these processes at the same time because this machine has one process, more massive processor rather than loads of little ones. Um, so I've had to enable this gradle.properties in the core of the project and say to it, eight applications can run when we don't even have eight. Um, so if I start that up, that's all of our applications. Um, and we've got thing running there and then what I wanted to do is whilst that's starting up I'll uh, talk through the rest of it so that's that's not really a control it's an endpoint for the login it's a single tim but I put it in web because it kind of acts as forward slash login uh, process and if it's successful it sends back a token to um, our front end application. Um, so I'm going to talk through the front end now. The changes there are login um, folder, which has been added to components. Um, and this exists in probably the Growls View JS Spring Security project that's on my GitHub. Uh, so I've just sort of really uh, cloned a lot of existing stuff from existing stuff because I'm not going to sit here and rewrite all of it. So I've taken stuff from this project and put it into here. Um, so that's the login and I've, uh, changed, did I change anything in here? I may have changed the roots at the bottom. Uh, everything else is the same, I think. Uh, I've added or copied across the user service, the profile service. Uh, nothing is really changed in these from what I can tell. Um, and then hotel service has been changed to use API rather than instance and everything is going through API actually because everything's going to, well, there's one instance and that should probably be an API as well. Let's update that now. I thought I didn't 
because all of it because everything literally through the micro will go through um the auth process um okay and then we've enabled or added user i think user was there and auth was there so i've enabled these two in the store index here 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 and here so that they get triggered or kicked in or work you know they, they they're available to the application um i have updated main.js and included this line for the authentication i've enabled this block uh i've updated app.view the nav bar is getting logged in logged in is finding out if there is a logged in user at the top moment this is getting pushed to navbar.view. Navbar.view gets the props of logged in and says if it's uh, logged in, so show sign out. If it's not logged in, show sign in. Um, so that's our login log out button. Um, and then core of the changes has gone into root or index.js. So um, we've had this meta added where requires auth is false or requires auth with a role for the different components. Some of these routes have been taken out because they were causing conflicts with the um, locale stuff that's happening. Um, package.json got updated and we've had these two um, additional uh, dependencies added to it and i think that's really all that's changed in the front end for um authentication to now work uh, or be asked for for it for, through the front end um so i'm going to show you this uh site now working um this is it here an earlier version of it uh, but before we go there i was going to show you the command line version of it so that all the apps are now up and running I'm going to run curl, uh, and first of all, we're going to give it a bad password. We shouldn't get back there. It's open. There we go. Looking up, but it couldn't find the user, so nothing came back. There we go. Failed. Login failed. And if we provide the correct password, we get back the username, the roles, and also the access token, uh, which is what we need for uh, and the refresh token as well, which is what we need for. Um, the security stuff to work. So this is our JWT token. Um, I think the stuff around use OAuth. I was going through that OAuth class, and I think that does all the real authentication stuff for you. So I think Microsoft will kind of just take care of the whole process of when the token times out as well. Um, I'm going through the code, all these different tabs. I've got open over here, trying to figure out how to get the thing to work. Um, so now we're going to go through the site and I'm going to show you how this thing works. Uh, if we go to home, as you can see, it's home. And if I go to users, it asks for login. If I go back to home, if I click on hotel, it asks for login. And over here, there's been loads of logs going on, but this is our stuff coming back. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, it's the profile bit. So we don't have a profile on the Micronaut. So hotel now, we actually get a list, as you can see, and it's got, it's using a token to send the request through, which gets authenticated through the gateway and comes back with the data. And users should work i can't remember if users are working but anyhow we can see this is working um and if i go to page two yeah things change so that's really it um and that's authentication working through micronaut with not spring security but its own security with jwt i need to emphasize that as it stands, the changes that are pushed, um, the password is clear text. 
So there is no encryption going on there at all with any of that process. Um, so this is not production code. Please don't go off and implement this and roll it out in on the cloud as a product because it's not designed for that. This is for demonstration. Um, and that's really it. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Bye bye.